For some years now, Costain has been looking to evaluate its carbon performance in terms of reducing our carbon footprint. After several years of doing this, we decided the best thing for us to do to have a realistic opinion of where we were was to get some form of auditing independently done on our efforts. We chose a group called CMARS, an, an independent, non-government organisation that come and audit your performance. Uh, we were certified by CMARS in 2009, and that was the kind of start of the journey, so we got some data um, and uh, since that time we've been improving the level of our data, gaining more intelligence about our footprint. One of the challenges that our business face is as we increase our revenue, um, our carbon emissions increase. We have got a pretty strong correlation also between the cost of what we deliver to the carbon content because carbon clearly is quite hardwired to the energy input into uh, what we do, how we do it on the final product. We've got a very ambitious target, 55% uh, reduction in our carbon emissions by 2020. So we've, um, we're working very hard to, um, to hit that target and we're using all of our data to, to really pinpoint the areas where we can make the greatest difference. So we have four main emission streams that are, that are quite intensive per unit of revenue. One of them is fuel in company cars, another one is gas oil used on site and diesel used in our fleet, as well as electricity used across the group. And for each of these elements we've worked out what, how many tonnes of carbon dioxide equivalent there are per year per unit of revenue. And uh, the procedure was, was really aimed at making sure we set things up right, so we had the lowest carbon footprint we could throughout the, throughout the project. The Low Carbon Innovation Awards is all about celebrating Costain's success to date. So we've had a number of organisations come and present to our customers and present to their peers some of the successes that we've been having out on our contracts. The day to day has been very much about seeing how one of our key suppliers, um, uh, Costain as a tier one contractor to us, are showing their commitment to, uh, to carbon reduction. It's those emissions associated with the suppliers, uh, those emissions associated with embedded carbon. Those are becoming really interesting areas which uh, Costain, I think, uh, are really leading on. The innovation was collaborating with our supply chain partners to um, achieve carbon reductions on the project. Um, and this was achieved through the inclusion of KPIs um, surrounding carbon reduction within the contracts and service label agreements themselves. So today the, I saw a total of 10 really good examples of both resource efficiency, so managing operational energy waste and water, but also what they're doing with regards to engaging with their supply chain um, and their clients to come up with more innovative solutions to actually design out the consumption of natural resources in the first place. We've seen other great things at London Bridge from a resource efficiency point of view where they've challenged the IT setup. We've initiated two uh, energy uh, management solutions uh, at London Bridge. Uh, one is uh, a print management solution, the other is a uh, power desktop management solution. Uh, another good example of the adoption of uh, LED uh, site lighting. We've got 20 LED lights that we procured um, to replace old lights that were on the site from a previous contractor years ago, which show quite a good um, carbon and cost saving, and it's already gone into a best practice document. It doesn't matter whether we're sharing with, with a competitor who's a JV partner on one project but might be a competitor on another project. Um, the, the overriding concern, I mean, we'll be working with these partners on, on several other projects you know, for, for a long time to come. So the overarching aim is to try and get these things made sort of, not just best practice, but kind of the, the mandatory way of doing things. So by broadcasting uh, that it's important to save money, uh, we're actually getting a very important resource efficiency and carbon message to the wider team. So the case study that I'm focusing on is connecting to mains electricity and making sure you have as early connection as possible to the grid. We found that it was much more efficient to connect to mains electricity and our payback period was about three months. There's also huge carbon savings on this as well and at Finsbury we found at over an 87 week period we were able to save 700 tonnes of carbon. And what's important is that people go away from Climate Week 
and actually share the good practice amongst the contracts, challenge uh, what we do traditionally to see if we can find a better carbon solution, work with our partners to actually deliver a better solution. So hopefully this week just raises the profile and gets you to think a little bit more about how you can have an impact and save more carbon and deliver a better resource efficient future.